What's the plan? Cheese and rice, Gregor. <laughs> okay, um, all right, I'm gonna take a gamble. Yes. Uh, what Harlock is going to do is she's going to uh, climb sheer surfaces. Oh, of course. To uh, essentially wall run Fuck. over to these stairs. Yeah. And uh, she's gonna land right here. And with quickness and adeptness, she's going to reach into her bag and retrieve that anti-illusionary goo that she got from a prior episode of the hit series Thrilling Intent. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and um, Good plug. since her arm, her arm's weird, right? It's, yeah, been, yeah. it's been weird. It's been weird yeah, for yeah, a while. It's been weird. It's been weird. Uh, your function is to take in this goo, and she's going to smash Ooh. it into her arm. Yeah. And she's going to try and spray the goo all over the room and hopefully show where this monster went. Interesting. Okay. Oh. oh. That is very clever. Okay. So she's going to spew a gas of anti illusionary goo. Okay, okay. Like like her arms uh like her arms a cockroach fumigator. Uh-huh. I love it. So, you do exactly as you say, sprinting to the top of the stairs along the wall. You lock the goo into your arm and fire a line of it to basically fumigate the area. It sweeps through and you come to the realization that the being is hidden from sight right here. Yeah. But I'm wearing glasses. You see it towering over your two companions, and it looks at you, almost assumes our look of recognition, and then you watch something horrific happen as the kill that you've been seeing is yanked backwards along mm. end of one of its appendages. Mm. Oh, fuck. It's a sock puppet. <laughs> I think Mercy's gonna try something dumb. Uh-oh. Uh, Cause she can still kind of bend at the knees. Um, she is going to grab the egg, shake it as hard <laughs> as she can. Cook. Uh, and I, with, with uh, like keeping the egg under her arm like a football, she is going to get as low as she An can. American football. Then <laughs> lean forward to get onto her free hand, and then with her one arm, hurl herself towards the creature and just try to slam dunk it like a basketball. Yes, the, the chaos oh, dunk. Yeah, the chaos <laughs> dunk. Okay, okay. Are we balling? Holy <laughs> shit. Well, that's. Can, awesome. can I help with this? Can Swamp Gas help with this? Can anybody do anything to assist this? <laughs> <laughs> the two of you align, get you in position. As you build up more and more pressure within the egg, it starts to glow tremendously. Don't worry, Mercy. I've got your back. I crack my knuckles, but like one of my fingers slips and I poke myself in the eye. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> you dart forwards. You throw yourself underneath it, and with almost a flash, the egg ignites. There is a brilliant beam of light and a choir of angels. You let out a detonation of light, and this brilliant beam, your heart sinks for a moment. It barely seems affected. It turns, it looks at you, and then you roll backwards and realize something. You thunk into something. You look down, and you realize the long appendage that was extending the mm. puppet has now been cut and it touches down on the ground and lies motionless at the top of the stairs. It seems like, at least for the moment, the Kill-Ill, Kill-Ill's body has been disconnected from the creature. Gregor, you continue, your eyes were on Kill-Ill the entire time, and as you watch her, you can see that right now, she is simply empty. Nothing. Uh, mm. the... The warlord's eyes twitch to the side and focus in on her again. Looks at you, looks at her. You can tell its main investment is going to be repossession as soon as physically possible. Marcus? Yep. Uh, I have an idea. It involves us coming back from where we came. So do whatever you want. Just don't be too far from the door, please. What? We can't We can't leave. Kill us here. Yeah, sure we can. Stairs. No! Why would stairs. we do that? We know we Trust. need to take care of this thing. We're gonna. The stairs sound really hard for uh. me right now. <laughs> Get on Gregor's back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we got a lot of we got a lot of dungeon to fight this thing through. Mercy is hearing this plan and looking at her legs like, gang, I don't know about this. <laughs> we need to get you lights. <laughs> um okay, so the egg has detonated, right? 
The egg has indeed detonated. Any trace of it whatsoever. It's, so, hanging in the air are almost little shards of, like, mm -hmm. light reflective glass that sweep around the being. Hmm. It's there, in spirit. Shit, I'm trying to, trying to think of how to wake up Kill-El, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit closer, um, and then, uh... Just try and examine her and stare at her with my practiced arcane eye to try and figure out what the fuck has happened here and if there's any reversing it. You, uh, you look down at Kill-Ill and you're like, okay, 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 okay. Based on the info that Gregor gathered earlier and based on what you can look at, you look at her. There was once almost a burning flame behind her eyes. That is now literally gone. Uh, absolutely yep. nothing remains. Um, I'm going to use this stupid analogy because you rolled a two. Yes, please do. <laughs> somebody, somebody took the batteries out. Somebody, Goddamn. Who, somebody who took, done that? Fucked up, man. Fucked yeah, up. Kier says, looking down at his, uh, yeah, yeah no, uh, his, it, looking down at a device that he built, a small automaton. <laughs> Absolutely deranged. Extremely messed up. Kill all don't got no batteries right now. <laughs> oh, I hate it. So, yeah, so I noticed that there's none of that flame that always seemed to be in her eyes, yes. let alone that, like, literal flame that yes. the kind of danced above her forehead a little yes, bit. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's happened here or how no. to fix it, but I can tell that this creature really wants to, uh... Mm -hmm. Really wants to get, get Kill-El back somehow. Yeah. Um... So I think I'm going to try and grab Kill-El and just drag her back over towards the exit. Problem is, I don't want to abandon Mercy. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, you, gotta make yeah, it, you gotta make some tough calls, Fuck. dude. Okay, um, yeah, I, so I am, I am going to just grab Kill-El under the arms and, um, trying to augment my movements with, like... I don't know, tendrils of shadow that, like, kind of loop out and grasp onto the edges of this platform and the stairs. Ooh, excellent. And then kind of, kind of pull, pull me along in the hopes of, like, I don't know, adding just a little bit to my really, really shitty physical strength. I'm going to try and drag kill back. You're not attacking anything. You're just... Yeah, uh, fair. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you make it to a oh, man. Here! Oh. Okay. Uh, with her <sighs> and but it is it is rough going you make it this far yeah. it is not a pretty sight something pops in my back it's not great <laughs> <laughs> okay gregor wobbles to his feet he's uh he's bloodied he's bruised and he's got very little light left <sighs> he looks around and takes a gamble I'm going to take the stance of the leaping lizard <gasps> and leap up onto this pillar. Oh, yes! Grab onto it Good. and kind of shove idea. my lantern into it in oh, the hopes dude. that it will recharge in gamble. some way. Oh, man. I was hoping that something like that might work. Fingers yeah. crossed. Goddamn. Okay. You jam your lantern into the side and sweep it back and you feel that fire reinvigorate your body. You inhale, exhale, and feel power coursing through your frame once more. Uh, Gregor, I'll let you do uh, one more thing. It can't be an attack, but you can move or, like, do some other action. Gregor, I just don't want to get mercy wet. <laughs> er. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you see her just like leaning on the steps, like, oh no, wow, really? <laughs> are we are we doing are we doing phrasing? <laughs> Kirkers went to drop down, feeling surprisingly good, rejuvenated, refreshed. Not in his lane. He's in a terrible place. But he's going to get in between Mercy and the water and just kind of brace, ready to catch her. <laughs> If he gets thrown. You're, you're like, you're spotting her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you awesome. are a brave soul getting ready to try and catch what is literally like the weight of an airplane. <laughs> 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 okay, Harlock. I don't even know what an airplane is. <laughs> <laughs> they, they call her Big Ma Cessna. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Harlock is going to launch her arm with another magical C4 and plant it right here. I'm gonna. I'm going to go for. I'm gonna go for mercy. So, uh, in, in lieu of blowing up my charges, yes. Harlock is going to run in. Yeah. And she's going to attempt to lift this airplane. I think what I'm going to do, because I don't think Harlock can physically yeah. lift Mercy. Yes. Um, what Harlock is going to do is she's going to produce a uh, an ultra hot flask yeah. from her from her backpack, okay. which is huh. filled with many things. Yes. And she's going to try and uh, remelt her joints. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a very reasonable way to do this. Excellent. Ah, uh, it's like icy hot, except icy hot. Yeah, real, real, real hot, and Love not it. very okay. icy. Mm-hmm. Uh, mercy. <laughs> you feel you feel fire ignite around your legs, and you feel like you can move your legs again. Mobility is oh. restored. All of you are prepared, and you get ready to run. Um. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I figured. Uh, it's sad when people don't have moms. I would know. <laughs> or knees. So. Or knees. So, um, <laughs> with Mercy's legs re-liquidated, you start to just run a line to the exit. Each of you uh, sprinting your way up. Mercy, you scramble over the side of the, uh, uh, you scramble over the side of the prison cell. And uh, Harlock, you start to make your way out. Plan firmly set in place. All of those arms now attack with an almost vicious purpose as they rain down on the three of you. You roll backwards and Swamp Gas manages to make it up the stairs, scrambling away. Uh, Gregor, you keep yourself between uh, Mercy, Harlock, and the water. Harlock, you put one foot on the staircase. Mercy, you place yourself past and you start to push and... Harlock, you turn and you look at this, you look at this creature and you, some purpose behind its motions. If this thing wanted to bring its full tremendous force down on your bodies, it, it, it probably could. It could more viciously attra- uh, attack, try to just rip you apart. But um, it seems like it's trying to preserve your physical shape. And yeah, you, you won't be able to have finger puppets. <laughs> yeah, your eyes flick back and forth. You get the feeling... If you too run out of light, you will wind up like Kill-El. This realization pings through your brain and you're like, aha, Eureka, I've got it. And then you are hit in the side with a long oh, no. tendril. One iota of focus being dragged away and you fly backwards. Gregor, ready in bracing form, manages to catch Harlock by the arm and stop her from swinging wildly even closer to this thing. Thanks for not letting me die. <laughs> uh, you boom, thunk together and turn towards the stairs and begin to run up. Mercy, as she's running, she is going to study Khalil and yell out, Is Khalil resistant to fire? Uh, <laughs> I need an answer right now to try something crazy. <laughs> Shit, honest, honest question. Do I remember that being the case? I, I, I thought she, I think she yes. is, but I'm okay. She is. Yes, yes. She's at least, she's at least somewhat resistant to fire. Mercy grabs her, throws what? her in the cage, locks it, and throws the chain out into the flame. <laughs> nice. Ooh. <laughs> Dude. And then I'm gonna reel her back in as quick as possible as we run up the stairs. <laughs> Fuck, that's the coolest fishing minigame I've ever seen. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Build up speed as you put Killil's inert body in the in the cage. Thumbs up against the wall. No, don't, don't use her as a flail. Oh, wait. You send it flying out and it slams into the beacon. It flies and slams into the column and then you sweep it up with the flick of your wrist as she flies into the flame and regains light. You swing it back and slide the cage and slam it down next to you. Green light spilling out of the sides and in the inside, she she seems to stir slightly. Her eyes open. She looks at you. Still, she's wrapped in this dark corruption at the same time, but she blinks, wiping away segments of that oil from her eyes and she's like uh, don't don't, oh no, don't worry we'll, we'll get the rest of that eyeliner off you real soon <laughs> <laughs> marcus you have flashbacks 
<laughs> you know, you know more than anyone how bad it can be. <laughs> she opens her mouth, sort of blinks, turns, looks at the creature, almost seems to parse the situation immediately. Uh, looks over to you, Mercy, and um, very politely asks, um, excuse me, uh, can you let me out of this cage, please? Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. I, I saved you, and I'm moving into town, just throwing it out there. <laughs> Thank you. Rip the cage she has a beautiful over. family. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're all right. <laughs> As you, you just like, you rip the cage, is partially melted, so I imagine Mercy's just like, she's big enough to just put fingers in and rip it open. Yes, <laughs> like, sweet. You just spread it apart and kill all stands at the uh, top of the stairs, staff igniting. And she bows her head slightly. Thank you very much, especially for the timely rescue. She spins the staff and slams it on the ground and a wave of fire spreads out from her. The wave of light sweeps through the area and you realize the truth you've always known. These lights, the ones placed around this prison, are maintained and a segment of Killil's own wisp. This very much is a representation of her, and the lanterns all flare to life around you. Encouraged by the new energy that is reinvigorating your bodies, you turn and look at the beast that lets out another guttural screech. 